Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoWorks.com, and today I'm here to talk to you guys about the new Think Tank Photo Airport Security Version 3. And that's right here to my right to your left on screen. Um, to my left is the Airport Security Version 2. Now the Airport Security Version 2 is the second Think Tank bag that I bought probably six years ago, and it's it's been absolutely everywhere with me. It's been to Israel, it's been to California, it's been all over New York City and all over the region. It's gone on almost every photo shoot that I've ever done, predominantly because it holds so much camera gear and it keeps it safe and it's incredibly durable and ha has not let me down ever. I love these bags. I love the way that they've got all of the customizable compartments. I love that it comes with a little rain bag. I love the quality of the zippers and all of the building material, the build materials and the build quality that Think Tank bags have. And these are the only bags, Think Tank bags, the only bags that I use for all my camera and my lighting gear. So here's the thing. I'm going to do a quick comparison of the version two to the version three because I'm so excited to migrate out of the version two and start using the version three. So at first glance, you guys can see that the version three is a little bit more square. It's a little bit more broad, okay? And it also seems like it's a little bit taller. It sits a little bit higher, even though it's about the same size. And I think dimensionally it's about the same size. Now understand that the version two, this bag here, I've had this thing for years. I've beat the hell out of this thing. So, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't have its shape maybe as nicely as the version three. So let's just look at some of the detail. Right off the bat, you can see that the front compartment is very different. That right here, it says it fits a 17 inch laptop, which is fantastic. On my version two, I've been stuffing my 15 inch laptop and my iPad in this front um, pouch. And you can see over the years what's happened to this front pouch. And also, I don't necessarily feel that this is as safe or secure, particularly if I'm throwing this bag around, which I do quite a bit. All right, so now let's go over onto the side here and you can see, um, actually, you know what, I'll compare it. They've moved, I've moved. The handle looks pretty good. Um, rather than having this kind of heavy duty strap, it's more like a real heavy duty um, kind of like seat belt material strap, which is really, really nice. Um, you can see how nicely reinforced uh, the wheels are, those excellent wheels that roll oh so well. Um, let's turn it around to the other side here. And on the version two, you had this nice bag uh, or pocket, I should say, over here. Um, and a little pouch. Um, oftentimes I stuff a water bottle in there or a water bottle in here or I just put like little things that I want to access very quickly. Um, they've done away with that on this bag. We still have this little pouch here so maybe if you have a stand or a tripod and you want to strap it onto here. I haven't really explored that but I think that they're suggesting tripod because there's a little tripod icon so you stuff it along here and that's how you're going to carry it. Um, now, one fundamental thing that I'm noticing right now is the, um, the handle looks quite different. On here, the handle is kind of integrated into the back of the bag and you can zip and enclose it like that, okay? Let me just flip it over. It's full right now, so I'm going to show you guys what I have in it. Um, this one is completely uh, autonomous. It's on its own. It's got this nice plastic barrier and um, let's just telescope these guys. So to get to this thing, you kind of have to reach your hand in there, boom, and you go up. Not bad. Okay, now we'll do the same with this. And yeah, it feels good. Feels like good quality. It actually feels almost like it's a little bit sturdier, which I very much like. I like sturdy. I think that that's strong. All right, let's look on the back of the bag here. You can see this plate's a little bit wider. This one's a little bit shorter. Um, these are a little bit wider. You know, all of these decisions, I'm sure that they made to keep the bag durable and also keep the bag lightweight. All right, so guys, I realized I needed to add an addendum to this because when I did the comparison, I forgot to mention that on the version two, this little pouch back here houses back straps. Um, I can't imagine putting this thing on my back considering how much gear I have in there. I mean, this thing probably is like 35, 40 pounds of gear right now and that's pretty normal. But what I do think is that because these guys at Think Tank added this big front pouch to accommodate your laptop and your iPad, they decided, you know what, let's put the, let's add some space to the back 
by eliminating this pouch and this back strap thing because I don't think our customers are using it. So now you have a nice flat back over here. You have much more rigidity because this is actually completely solid and this probably makes for a lot better rolling as well and also liberated that space underneath so you've got a deeper pocket in here to accommodate for the front pocket. Um, there's the same kind of pockets on the top over here. So let's uh, look on the bottom. Again, I've got this bag loaded up and yeah, the bottom looks about the same. All right, cool. Now I'm going to show you the contents of this bag to see, actually, you know what? Let me do this. Let me open this bag and let's take a look inside. All right. So here, what we're going to do is I'm going to undo the lock, which releases the zippers. And that's very cool. Very nice lock. I'm going to open this puppy up. And of course, Think Tank always includes a placard that gives you an idea of how you can set up your bag. So obviously they're suggesting that you can put a big daddy of a lens in here. You can put some other lenses in a full size camera and a flash or uh, on this side, you know, you got two bodies, a bunch of flashes. Actually, it looks like there's three bodies in here um, and you can run all your little accessories down in there. This is very handy, you know, particularly if you just get a new bag and you open it up and it looks like this and you're not quite sure how to do it. It's not a bad thing to have a template to work from. Okay. Um, overall, I can see that inside the dimensions feel about the same. Okay. Um, it feels like, you know, it's really nice. It gets deeper as we go to the bottom so you can put longer lenses or bigger things in there. Um, they've changed it out a little bit so that it's a little bit more customizable. And you can see this kind of tiered stepped um, padding that they have in here. And they also give you all of these other options, which is fantastic. Okay. Now I've probably, with all my think tank bags, I've probably got cases and cases of interior bits, but I often will change out the, uh, the configuration of my bags, depending on the kinds of shoots that I'm doing. So this is really nice to see that the interior is very similar, but it looks like it's also very efficient. And as in the past, there's all these really, really nice zippered pockets, which are very, very handy for putting all kinds of little accessories and things that you want to be able to access, you know, quickly and be able to see what's in there, but not have them get mixed up with your other gear in there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up this laptop slot. Okay. Fantastic. All right. So here's this laptop slot and I'm going to tip it over to, to show you guys. And not only is there's a laptop slot, but there's also an iPad slot in there, which is fantastic. So let's just try slipping these guys in there because I really dislike having that stuff hanging off the front. Boom, 15 inch laptop stuffed right in there. No problem. Now I'm going to take an iPad pro nine and a half inch iPad pro with its case. I'm going to throw it in there in this little pad in this little pocket fits in perfectly. I Velcro it down. I take my two zippers like that and boom. Now, well, I should have zippered this. So let me just zipper this really quickly. Now my iPad and my 15 inch MacBook Pro are completely protected. The other thing that I noticed on the bottom here is that these feet seem to be a lot more substantial and a lot bigger. Whereas these guys are a little bit shorter and um, I've obviously worn them out. These things have like nice rounded bottoms. These feet definitely help to keep the tipping factor, you know, under control. And I don't have any weight in the back of this bag and this is not a really tippy bag. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys really quickly, just a basic idea of what I have in this bag. I'll show you the pocket up here. Okay. So I've got a bunch of flash accessories up here. Uh, memory cards, cloths, uh, a mouse, some pocket wizards down here. So all the kinds of accessories in that respect. Now down in here in the main compartment, I've configured it like this where I've got a DSLR at the top. And for the purpose of the video, because I'm using my Canon Mark III to record this, I've got an old Nikon F100 in here with a grip fits in perfectly. Um, I've got a Fuji 56 F12 right there. I've got a Nikon 135 sitting over here. Um, I've got a little portable hard drive with the um, rain bag in here. I've got all kinds of little cactus flash triggers and batteries and I've got a light meter in there. I've got the charger over here for the um, laptop. I've got the Fuji X Pro 2 here. I've got the Fuji X100T there. 
I've got a pair of glasses over here. I've got a couple of these um, Cactus RF60s in here with a tether cable, and I still have plenty of room. It's really actually not bad, and this is not unusual for me. This is kind of a typical configuration that I would be using on a photo shoot. All of this gear fits very, comfor very comfortably and very nicely in this bag. And all I can say is that now, fundamentally, the difference is that I'm going to be able to not only fit all of my gear beautifully into this bag as well, but the difference now is that my laptop and my iPad are securely zipped into the front of the bag, and I still have this pocket if I want to throw documents in, if I'm traveling, and such like that. So there you guys go. Think Tank Airport Security Version 3. This is their biggest rolling camera bag and they've really done a tremendous job with the evolution from the version 2 to the version 3. I couldn't be happier about it. Um, I'm going to migrate all my gear into it and uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. So there you have it. And don't forget, if you want to receive a free gift, which is I think what they say is a $50 value, use my affiliate code, which is right here on screen, when you're checking out or when you're at the Think Tank website and when you go to checkout, they will give you the option to add a free gift, a Think Tank product, to your order every time you check out. So there you go, guys. Think Tank Airport Security Version 3. Awesome bag. Another fantastic, high-quality bag from Think Tank. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and we'll see you soon.